90 person called Lexapro. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, euro. Right, good morning people, where do we even start? First of all, Happy New Year, uh, back active. Um, I had swear to God I've had the most extravagant winter on my life. Uh, can't even explain it. it most extravagant off season as well. The off season remains active though. Um, training, eating, everything has just been 100% on point, sticking to the plan. We are jacked, jacked. Uh, feeling damn good um, ready for this new year nothing changes except just keep on the work but I took a couple of months off YouTube a couple of yeah a couple of months off doing some content so we are back active I'll explain it all later in the video Um yeah very excited for this very uh, feeling very confident feel like a different power or something I can't even explain it but we're ready to rock anyways first of all go train chest and back and we'll get to it Chest and back done, feeling fresh as a daisy. I swear to God, stronger but a week, stronger but a week, heavier but a week. Feeling damn good, ready for this season. Yup, get that into you, son. But uh, yeah, heavy one going to Aldi now. Don't need too much fuel today because we're still eating the Christmas dinners, turkey and ham. So get the protein in. We should look, we're flying anyways. Catch up with just a bit when I'm done in Aldi. Enough there's more ham now. Right, that's the last of the turkey and ham. I won't be eating turkey and ham for another year. I am stuffed, absolutely stuffed. But I'm just gonna chill here, watch some YouTube before I go to work. Skip dessert because I have cottage pie and some fish I wanna eat before I go to work. And then tomorrow, I'm actually heading to Belfast with the missus for a couple of days. So a bit of downtime, a bit of shopping and a bit of filled. Won't vlog the whole trip, but we'll keep some clips, keep you updated. Uh, gonna train as well before I go tomorrow. So I'll give you a couple of clips and I'll catch up with you when I'm back from Belfast. Right, Belfast prep, all done, shoulders and arms training this morning, uh, straight home, just got ready, everything cleaned up, fresh, looking fresh, feeling fresh, smelling fresh, all good. Uh, like I said, next couple of days, just some downtime, food, shopping, chilling, nice hotel booked, so all good. Um, da -da -da -da. I'm just going to keep a few clips in while I'm down there, just to keep you updated, as I promised. But first of all, can we just take a minute to respect these? Look at them runners, they are the sickest thing in the world fresh but yeah anyways i'll keep you updated on food whatever i get in the shops or whatever and i will see you on friday
The hard and fast. Keep going, 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 keep the field up as much as possible back in the hospital tomorrow but no excuses tomorrow will be up early get some training in anyways good bit of downtime doing the last few days shopping chilling eating good food so it's nice to have a little bit of travel every couple of weeks more trips coming soon but anyways hospital's done for today like i said in work i'll catch up with you in the morning right good morning people like 11 hours sleep last night wrecked but feel a bit fresher than yesterday yesterday was such a busy day it's been such a busy week but today's leg day still training fasted so just the kind of monster in i'm really not in the mood but let's get it done anyway straight back to routine yeah, just gonna get up get ready i'll have a season in a few minutes Right to leg day and hospital complete, good results in the hospital, everything at bay, held us right where I wanted it and strength is too, so happy it is. Oh, breakfast from downstairs though. But anyways, good morning, everything on the right track and now we're off to Aldi, get some food in and lots of it because it's Vulcan season, we're fresh in Vulcan season, I'm buzzing for this. we got another five months to go, so five months of good food. Anyways, let's get it. Thank God for the book. Dark chocolate and nachos for first meal. I'm not complain. Right, chill time. Finally, back at the lab. Gonna watch a film. Uh, gonna eat a few more meals before I go to work as well. Gonna do a full day of eating video soon. Just so you know where I'm eating and everything. Um, I'm not gonna do it all in this video. Because a bit more explaining to do. But i catch up with you in the morning. Right people, them last clips, that was not my puppy, that's my girlfriend's family's new puppy, uh, it's a deadly puppy though. Getting prepared to get my own this year, so I'm very, very excited for that, but that won't be till later this year. But as I said in the start of this video, um, I'd get down to business, let you know what happened. I said I had an extravagant winter, which I did. Um, where do I even start? I don't even know where to start, but anyways, it was crazy. My head just went absolutely sideways. The only thing I can start off and just say is that... Two years ago, I stopped drinking, stopped smoking, stopped smoking weed. And I felt like I was always masking things, covering things up in a way. Um, after I quit all them things, I found it very difficult to deal with a lot of things, social situations, everything. So I just feel like training and walking and stuff like that was my only like outlet. So I would just do them dedicatedly every single day. Um, which has put me in a good position, 100%. But it's not good when you can't socialise with people or... 
just even communicate proper with people or not feel in any way good so i've been hiding a lot of that stuff for a while um no sympathy votes here we're sorted now we're getting on um as soon as last year obviously my father passed away last year and i did the cut kept myself busy didn't let myself go down the drain but after the cut and everything and then I came to like August, September, and every winter I go downhill. Every single winter I go downhill. So uh, I've never actually opened, like I've talked to people around me. Um, obviously never really went further about it, but it got to the stage this, last year. It's 2023 now, but it got to the stage last year where I was just worried about myself, scared. Uh, I was scared I was going to do something that I didn't want to do. Um, so I decided to go to the doctor, which was very hard for me. Like That was harder than anything going and actually speaking up and telling someone. Even when I went down to the doctor, it just felt so uncomfortable. But we had a talk, we had a chat, we got everything sorted. He diagnosed me with SADS, which is like seasonal depression. Uh, which I, to be honest, I knew I had for years because every single winter I just fall apart. Um, but even at the size we I started taking antidepressants, uh, I wanted to bring them with me. So I started an antidepressant called Lexapro. Uh, that's been helping me greatly. But even when I started taking that, there were still other issues there. I was just waking up during the night and uh, like seeing, hearing crazy things and having weird ideas in my head and very intrusive thoughts and stuff. So when I went back down to the doctor and said that was still happening, even though I was taking the antidepressant, he gave me another medication, which is an antipsychotic medication called Cyrical. Um yeah so we're after getting medication i'm way ahead now the last couple of weeks like i said we've been sticking to the plan like that was november i really went downhill i had been in spain in october obviously the sun had helped i uh, been away and then i came home and then i just went back downhill and um, even my girlfriend like knew like when i was with her like it just i was down like down down we went to portugal then in november and i was just i wasn't anywhere near myself like i was gone completely but like I said, ever since I started taking this medication, I have been, I swear to God, like it's helped me so much. Like I knew I needed this stuff. I knew I did badly. Uh, even right now, talking about it, it's just felt so uncomfortable, but this is, I'm just gonna be real with it. Just say it straight out and then it's done with, and then we can move on with this journey. I'm far from done here. I'm far from done in this whole journey. I swear to God, like it's only the beginning of this. I've, through everything, I've just got back up every single time. Like illnesses, the whole shebang, everything. I've just faced everything and I just keep getting back up. And now I feel like I really, with this help, I'm still waiting on help. I've, I'm uh, waiting on a psychiatrist to like get a diagnosis and what else is wrong with my head. I've had these problems for years and social problems and everything and just keeping relationships steady like i don't mean relationships as a girl like friendships everything i've just felt like i've just always struggled there the only way i can explain is if i'm around 10 people i feel like the 10th person do you know that way i feel like that one person out of the 10 so we can get help now finally and like i said move on with this journey there's so much i want to do like and like i said i faced it all i'm so confident to get up every day do this i want to make youtube videos i want to do fitness i want to do everything and i'm just going to keep pushing forward no matter what's coming my way i'm here and i'm ready to rock so i hope everyone can appreciate me talking real here i don't know if i just show you on me for the last five minutes but if you did listen i appreciate it. if you have supported me in the past or you do so much appreciate it if you like me tiktoks anything whatever you do i I appreciate it so much you've no idea just to be even able to be up and do this i'll tell the full story in due time but even to be able to get up in the morning train and make videos it's a blessing i thank god every day for it. like i really really do like i don't care what else is in the way i will fight through it and get through it so anyways like i said thank you for listening if you did listen if you have supported thank you so much i'm going to finish this video off here and get to this journey um i'm bulking for another four and a half months probably till the end of oh no end of april start of may and then we're going for another cut which i'm so excited about because this one's the one I'm buzzing for this one i've been waiting for this year so long just have everything right on the way do you know what i mean everything has just happened each year but it's pushed me so far and i'm blessed right now so i'm gonna make this journey happen i'm afraid of nothing right now afraid of i fear nothing what's gonna stop me do you know what i mean put anything in my way i'm gonna fight through it and this is my moment so thank you for everyone watching and i'll catch you in the next video took so many years i've been swaying for the wins i'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins i do it for real there's no reason to pretend if i do it once i do it again add it up, add it up. Bankroll. bankroll euro, euro.